Well, anyway, th this is probably fine for now. We'll leave it be at the moment. Yeah, let us go to the space center and save. And then we're gonna try and bring the other space plane that we refueled back. At long last. Possibly the only space plane that we actually tried to bring back from Leif. I wonder if it's somehow carrying the science now. Because we had the refueler docked to the station. And so it could have picked up the science from the station. The samples, right? Remember, we uh, brought all the samples into the station because the station went to all the moons. And then the refueler docked to the station. So then the refueler would have had the samples, I guess. Unless we have to manually transfer the samples as well. Uh, the science I know transfers, but that might just be the data and not the samples. But anyway, let's say it transferred the samples. Then the refueler docked to the space plane. So maybe the space plane is carrying the samples now. Hmm, Corbin just happens to be a little bit too close right now. We missed our opportunity in the middle of everything. <laughs> the way the way things load in this game gives me a heart attack sometimes, but okay. Okay, we want Lathe over here. Okay, actually, let's also do this in the tracking station. That's too slow. <laughs> I mean, they look like little asteroids at, at the start. The parts. Disconnected asteroids or something. Well, that's pretty, pretty close to being perfect right there. Ah, timing is crazy, what? Well, that's closer. I guess we can do more of that. I swear it was coming close enough there. That seems like it's gonna end up being too touchy. I think I have sufficient Delta V to correct that later. What we don't have is methane. So that's a bit of a problem. When we get to Kerbin, are uh, we going to land exactly? I mean, of course we can do a landing without any of the jet engine power. Should be doable, but... Anyway, let's do this first. I'll do it as planned, but will it give me what it shows me there? As far as how close we're getting to Kerbin? I don't know. We don't really have an encounter, so I'm not saying the bar too high here. Go. I'm going up. Okay, where, where are you going? No! Point at the node! Point at the node! You have the ability to point. I see, you're not maxing out the control. You're not maxing out the controls. Point at the node! Bad SAS. Bad SAS. And it's systematically going in one direction, which is going to mess us up. No. No. No, you don't. I'm manually pulling it this way. It's, it keeps trying to go that way, and I'm manually pulling it this way to compensate. Well, good thing I wasn't expecting that to go perfectly anyway. I don't see an encounter yet. Oh, but maybe we won't, because that's how things work around here. Aha! Uh, you know, maybe we'll just around with the rest of it at the descending node. I'll take this 93 for now. At least we have an encounter. Okay, we are departing Leith. And we are departing Jewel. Oh, uh... Oh, we can't do a mid-course correction with this, right? Because I think it didn't have a transmitter. Uh-oh. Well, we'll have to see about this. Well, at least we would have had an encounter. <laughs> I don't think this has enough range to actually get that done. Okay. 
we're in trouble. I forgot about that. I forgot this one doesn't have a big antenna. So I guess it can't turn. Wait, it's turning. No comnet connection, but something's happening. I'm very confused about how the whole comnet thing works right now. We can't ignite the engine. It can turn, but I can't ignite the engine right now. Oh, I can ignite it full, but not throttle up. I can press Z, but not left shift. I have no comnet. Out of range for comnet. Manual controls and maneuvering unavailable. But I guess this isn't manual. It's weird. It's weird. Well, that wasn't the encounter I wanted. I can't create a maneuver. I am going to try to wing it. That's the descending node. Okay, that, that's not helping. But you know what? Let's just not help that all the way. Okay. Now, what will bring those things together? We can only use these vectors. Okay, we had an encounter, but it went away. So this number wasn't right. Um, retrograde a bit. And you know what? I don't know if we can thrust, let's say, I'm gonna thrust limit this. Shouldn't be able to do that either, should we? But now I can get low thrust. Yep, okay, that ended up being the wrong way. Okay, I think that's good enough for now, that's for sure. Luckily, we have what control we do. Alright, so. We are headed back home. Ninety... Let's set it to ninety and then save and then plunge it into the atmosphere and see if it explodes. I'm, I'm gonna try thirty kilometers. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. I'm convinced. Let's not do that. I'm convinced we should not do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll uh, capture with the engines first. Mm, maybe we should do a combination of things. We'll slow down a bit. Ahead of time. And that'll dip our... We don't have to do a correction right now, but that'll dip our orbit into the atmosphere. So yeah, we'll slow down a bit. And then have the atmosphere do the rest, hopefully. Where are you going? Why does it always want to tilt somewhere? Stop that. You're not that imbalanced. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, oh, uh, in the process of trying to correct that, I accidentally went too far on the periapsis. Okay, here we go again. Please don't blow up, please don't blow up. Oh, oh, don't go that way either. No, okay, maybe it's okay. Oh, no, it's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow Oh. Okay, that's too hot. Okay, I give up. We'll just use Delta V to capture. <laughs> we will try to get the atmosphere's help after we capture. How about that? Let's not do too much. No, come on. Here, can you just hold retrograde? I don't know what's up with it. I mean, I'm sure the center mass is a little bit off, but there's a lot more controllability that I could use. I could just hold it up there. Just hold it further up there. Whatever. 
I mean, I can control it. Kerbal. Okay. We will now try to dip our periapsis into the atmosphere and hope that it doesn't blow us up again. If we have to get to low carbon orbit first with this, that's going to be a bit of a problem. With 837 left, we'd have to refuel this again. Well, I'll save here. Okay, here we go. Can it survive this entry now that we've captured? This cargo bay is troublesome though. Maybe I should just go point uh, nose first entirely. Just keep it safe. Okay, maybe going tail first is better since that's overheating. Fine, you can do that. Uh, no, don't go back around, it's overheating. Oh, and all those. Oh, fudge. Okay, hopefully we didn't need those. I, oh, uh, no, no, don't go back, don't go back. This is fine. Tail first. Tail first. Ah, uh, but we're suborbital now. Whoops. Oh, that thing is, ah, uh, no. Ah. Okay. Probably that's, well, I think we could maybe do that if we just go really more pointy in first instead of Keeping in, uh, keeping the nose up. Don't worry, there's no Kerbal on board. It's fine. 35. We'll go 35. Oh no, I can't pitch down. Uh, well, hopefully we're not so low that's critical. Oh, it's critical. <laughs> um, pretty darn critical. I think we did. We lose the solar panels as well. That what ripped off. This one, pending that part's decision here. Okay, well, it's gonna survive. The problem is we're nowhere near the KSC. Really nowhere near the KSC. I think we should pick up from a save and try and do stuff. Gosh. Well, we're gonna try. Same maneuver as on Leif with the other space plane. This isn't looking good. Come on. Come on. This is very weird aerodynamics. But I know I can do this. Come on. Come on. Barely. Stupid thing, why don't you just decide to fly properly in the first place? The trees are not collidable, the trees are not collidable, the trees are not collidable. <laughs> Uh-oh, that hill is though. Uh... Don't take the engine. Oh, what? 
Bull crap. I am going to load up the save and try that again. I'm not letting that happen. Nope. We're 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 gonna we're gonna try that again. And darn it, I want to land it at the KSC where we have proper runways and such. So let's try and get the altitude, the re-entry altitude right. So that we can actually land it on a runway, and it can't do that sort of thing to us, in theory. <laughs> this is all very theoretical. Okay, so... 42, maybe? Alright. Okay, in we go. Let's see if this works out better. I'll also try and keep the nose forward. I'm just keeping it close to prograde this time. Uh, it doesn't look like I can hold it like that. Okay, well... Uh, and... Oh no, oh gosh. This hasn't helped. <laughs> Maybe I should spin stabilize it when entering the atmosphere. We're like totally not going up at all. Yeah, we're not getting to the KSC. It's in the dark anyway. Fine. Um, no, darn it, I want... I want to get to the KSC. Well, while we still have fuel, we might as well pump it forward. The problem with this is that the original space plane had a cockpit in front, and that cockpit was actually heavier than what we have up front right now. So the center of mass is further back and leads us to topple in certain fight regimes. I think I'll just focus on surviving this pass. So we'll just point directly prograde rather than trying to get extra drag or something. Still solar panels Well, now I really want more drag, though. We're going up already. Well, we survived this one, and we have not toppled all over the place. But, as far as the energy that we've dissipated, it hasn't actually been that much. So that's the downside. Coming in retrograde is so wrong. That's probably half of our problem. Admittedly, the plane is the bigger half of the problem, but anyway. We'll still go with the nose first thing. Not trying to tilt up too much. No, oh, maybe I, I, tilting, I tilted up too early. Uh-oh. Okay, maybe we can hold it. Maybe we can hold it. Good plane. We do need more drag though. 1,500 is not good enough. Well, we're lower and we didn't blow up again. Speed-wise, we lost about 400 meters per second. 
so probably 46 would be overdoing it because if we drop another 400 meters per second I mean we definitely gotta get more than 400 meters per second if we go 46 kilometers because now we're now shallower so we should aim a little bit higher than that let's just maybe 48 maybe 50 let's just go 50 I really want to get back to the KSC so we want to be in low carbon orbit first uh, well the rest we could probably do with the delta v as far as getting a nicer low carbon orbit Then the question is exactly where we deorbit in order to land. Okay, good enough. And KSC is over there, so we'll wait until it's in daylight. Uh, solar panels. Okay. Yep, now's the question what altitude should we deorbit to? in order to get back to the KSC, given that we're going retrograde. So, save again. <laughs> we will try my customary 26 kilometers first. Well, we need more drag, but I also would rather not flip out. Well, it's a good thing that I've decided not to bring every single space plane back and instead turn them into bases instead, so that's a little bit more convenient. What we really need to do is diminish how much we're carrying to the surface with the space plane though. Maybe we can make the swerve engine into a separate module that can be, you know, crash into the surface or something, but then we'd have to design the plane so that it's balanced without that. And also, a minimal amount of wings would be good. We still need the jet engines to make sure that we get to the landing site. Well, I think we're overflying the KSC by quite a lot. We haven't really slowed down. Okay, I'm gonna try a very bad maneuver. I'm gonna intentionally flip it out, <laughs> basically. In order to get drag. Well, I think we would have had to have uh, done this earlier. Oh, out of EC? Uh, well, we could run the engine to replenish that, but you know what? Let's go ahead and try that negative 10. Okay, close enough to negative 10. Does this mean that stock KSP is realistic? Because we go to the same altitude as in realism overhaul? Could it be? <laughs> well, that's looking fine. Oh no, uh, even a little bit of pitch up already gives us... Uh... No. Oh. Well, well, we'll just sort of go with this. But we're losing EC. I'm trying to use the engine just for the EC actually, but that's not working out. I can't throttle up anymore. Well, I can't control it now. I mean, if we extend the solar panels now, well, it's too late for anything, but... Um, they'll die, right? Probably? Or not.
Okay, well, um, I can recover it, but we're not close enough with the speed that we have. Okay, again. <laughs> I mean, it could be just that I don't, I don't risk flipping it, uh, and you know, don't nose up as much. But maybe we'll over, over speed like that though. Or we could do zero. But I think negative ten was okay. As long as we eventually get drag. We weren't really getting much drag because I was pointing very close to the prograde vector. So as not to flip out. And once I started tilting up, it was bad news. But you know, if I can flip out at just the right time, <laughs> um, then we'll be alright. But we'd have to flip out right above the KSC, then we'd be okay. Well, so now we have to go ballistic and hope for the best. Hope that at lower altitudes we don't burn up, basically. Because we're not slowing down as much when we're not tilted up. The question is whether we can bear the heat as we're not slowing down much. Hopefully the atmosphere will eventually slow us down. I dare look. Oh, uh, we're overdoing it. Well, as as expected, it's not slowing us down enough. Well, it is slowing us down more now, though. This would be a good time to execute emergency slowdown maneuvers, I think. Maybe. Well, that's effective braking. <laughs> oh well, no, go go to prograde. It was so close. Ah. Uh... No, 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 this way, this way, this way, this way, yes, yes, no, 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 yes, yes, yes. Okay. But we're too close. <laughs> um... I can't make that landing. No, no, no! You were okay! You were okay! <sighs> okay, well now I can make that landing because we slowed down so much. Uh, <laughs> Fine, okay. I don't think I... Ah, it stalled. Ah. That's still enough height. I tried to recover too quickly. Uh, maybe I should just go for the left runway. Uh, is Chase View gonna cooperate? No, whenever, uh, Chase View for some reason, whenever I press one of the keys to orient, it decides to change the view as well, so that doesn't help anything. We're going, still going a bit fast here. I'm going to extend the solar panels because I'm looking at the electric charge. Okay, well, let me retract those. I think they were producing too much drag. 
Whoa, whoa, don't do that. Please land properly. Okay. Okay, well, we don't really have any power. So, um, we're stopping right here. There's no taxiing or anything. But, it is back, finally. After, I don't know how many times I reloaded. But, we brought it back. We didn't really need to. It's not like there are Kerbals on board. But, maybe there's science on board. I didn't check. <laughs> Let's find out if there was any science on board. No, there wasn't. Gosh darn it. There was no science. It didn't get loaded into this craft somehow. Okay, well... Well, there we go. Alright. So, with that ordeal, I'll say thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.